Bill Schwab from WineVise.com here. And wine starts to back up around the holidays here. We just don't have as much time to taste. And uh, uh, I'd like to squeeze some tasting in. Uh, uh, it's the 1st of December here, roughly. And uh, we've got some interesting wines coming up for the holidays. First one I want to go into is yeah, the uh, yeah. Grand Boyou. Now, this is by... Um, Chateau Bechevel. And anybody who knows Bordeaux knows about Bechevel. Uh, they do a great job. This is a 75% Merlot. The rest is Cabernet Sauvignon. And if you're not familiar with Bordeaux, Bordeaux is, is basically Cabernet and Merlot uh, with a few other grapes added into it. Uh, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, and Malbec. Uh, but this this Bordeaux could be labeled Merlot in California. In California, it only has to be 75% of a grape to be labeled that grape. Uh, and you find a lot of blending in California of Cabernet and Merlot. Uh, and it's labeled straight Cabernet or labeled straight Merlot. Uh, so you shouldn't be afraid of a Bordeaux label. You shouldn't be afraid of a, of a French wine. It's the grapes you're used to, uh, just in a slightly different format. Whenever you buy a European wine, it's always um, labeled for where it comes from. Not the grapes that are in it. Not always, usually. And typical Bordeaux, Merlot, you get a little hints of the fruit to it, uh, a little plummy cherryness, a little bit of uh, raspberry, but you get a little bit more of a, uh, of a steerity and a little bit more woodsiness as well. Um, almost like a, 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 a cedar oak sort of cigar box, little hints of tobacco to it. Good, clean color. Very good. Um, very good and, and, and moderately priced. Um, Something like this uh, should go in about the $15 range. I think that's uh, roughly where we'll be. Maybe a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit less, but. Reconfirmed on the palate. Uh, cherry, a little bit of plum to it. Um, a hint of that raspberry crisp tartness. Good tannins to it, uh, uh, like all European wines should be accompanied with some food. Uh, uh, I'd recommend this definitely with uh, beef, lamb, uh, but it could also go into a heartier chicken dish or a, uh, um, I really don't see this going with uh, any kind of seafood, but uh, definitely a heartier chicken dish. Anything in a, in a full bite meal, this could go wonderful with. Even some hard cheeses. Good, typical Bordeaux, um, worth a little bit more than I think the $15 price tag. Uh, I see some ageability here that you can lay this down um, for uh, uh, three to five years and it'll get a little bit more expansive on the palate. Wonderful bottle of wine, drinkable now, a little bit of ageability and a good introduction to the world of Bordeaux. If you were afraid to go into Bordeaux before, this is a great step, very easy, very friendly.